Wow. Look how lovely and sunny it is this morning. It's very early, about 6.30 a.m. And we're just sailing into Glacier Bay today. I think we're gonna have a lovely day for it. Tell you what, it's absolutely freaking manic in that buffet. It is not a relaxing experience at all. There's just too many people in too small a space. It's crazy. Um, but got my stuff. Got uh, a few bits and pieces of French toast and maple syrup. Kirsty's got our oats, which look nice. It's a bit sens more sensible out here. You, it's carnage in that freaking buffet, but you come out by the pool onto the Lido deck, uh, by the Lido bar. Um, and you can see there's loads of seats and stuff, loads of places to sit. Not so much inside, but out here. And it's not cold at all with the uh, retractable roof closed, um, especially on such a sunny day. Uh, I think we're quite lucky with the weather. So we've come up to the crow's nest to watch the talk by the US Park Rangers, um, who are gonna tell us all about Glacier Bay, because it's a national park, a US national park. Um, so the park rangers are here on board and uh, it should be quite interesting. Uh, so I am Ranger Adam, you guys can just call me Adam, I'm one of the rangers on board today. Now Glacier Bay is many things to many people. Some of you might not even know, not known, that you were entering a national park, but this is one of the largest national parks. You guys have been in since around 6 a.m. In the United States, over 3 million acres of ice, mountains, and water. Again, many things, a wilderness, a park, a preserve, a living laboratory, homeland, as well as Park Service representatives. We are honored to be able to be living and working in what is the homeland of the Huna Klinget, those who have called Glacier Bay home since time immemorial. I think often we think of wild places, national parks. We often forget that there are long human presences in those parks as well. Uh, the Klingettes still call Glacier Bay home to this very day. This is absolutely amazing breathtaking scenery. believe how lovely and sunny and warm it is. 
This scenery is absolutely epic and with the sun shining on the water and on the mountains, the snow on the mountains is absolutely amazing. It's it? absolutely stunning. I've uh, never seen anything quite like it to be honest. How lucky are we to have this weather? Really lucky. I don't Freaking care awesome. that it's raining in Vancouver now because we've had perfect weather. <laughs> <laughs> perfect weather. We keep seeing otters. We have seen a couple of moose and a bear from a distance. And yeah, loads of otters. Loads of them out there. I haven't got my long lens with me, so I can't get that, but hopefully I will at some point. Definitely think I'm gonna have to ditch this jacket. I've got a sweatshirt underneath it, thinking it's gonna be cold. In fact, it was a bit chilly this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but the sun's come out. But that, yeah, that sun, that sun makes it really, really lovely and warm. I think if you had a poor weather day, I think it would still be absolutely stunning, you know, if it was uh, not quite so lovely as it is today. But with the sun out today, it's just breathtaking, isn't it? it really is. Absolutely breathtaking. It really is. I was not prepared. <laughs> I think I've got some really good shots of that glacier. <laughs> that was freaking epic. And I've got some big chunks of ice coming off as well. Freaking amazing. We just sat there for about 30 minutes 
and I was able to just wait for these big chunks to, to fall off. Wasn't convinced that it was going to happen, but I think I captured a couple. Um, freaking awesome. So we got a bit hungry anyway. Um, we did a spin around so the uh, the other side of the ship could see the glacier and we went down to the buffet and uh, grabbed some food. Really busy down there so we decided to bring it back with us. Got some nice bits and pieces actually. Kirsty's chomping lovely, away. Lovely bread rolls. Yeah, chomping away on her bread rolls. And peanut butter cookies. And cookies. They look pretty good. Um, I got some hot stuff. So yeah, that's um, some sort of slider. Uh, brisket, I think, mashed potatoes, uh, mac and cheese, bit of salmon, and a load of cookies. So yes, very nice. I'm gonna have this now, and then we'll go back on the balcony and see what else we can see. We're obviously still in Glacier Bay, um, but we're uh, moving away from where we were. Uh, I'm just gonna keep an eye out the balcony door and see, uh, see what scenery goes past and what I can film. Absolutely epic day that was. I think I've got some pretty amazing footage. I haven't seen it yet, but I think some of the shots I would have got there are pretty, pretty awesome. It was, uh, yeah, breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. We even saw some killer whales. We were in the deli looking out the window having a drink, didn't have my camera with me, and we saw some killer whales like swimming alongside the ship, matching the uh, speed of the ship. It was incredible to watch. Um, I think I might have caught some on my phone, but. Uh, we're just on our way out for the evening. We're going down to the main dining room for food, so I'll see you down there. Are you ready to order? I have to say, the bread's very nice. It's nice that you get a little basket with a selection, and it's all really tasty, isn't it? It's quite a full restaurant tonight, but it's so loud. Yeah, it's always really loud in here, I don't know why. That looks really good. I think I'm going to need that bread to soak up this garlicky stuff. So, this is escargot. It's lovely, really, really garlicky. Like, really garlicky. But lovely though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Cooked rare, as usual. Yeah, that's decent. That is decent. Always have to have a tiramisu if there's one on the menu. And I've had some good and bad, or good and average. Never a bad one actually, but good and average. So I wonder where this will fall on the scale. Actually, that's really nice. It looks nice. Shall we try? Oh, it's very, really coconutty. No, because it looks, it looks really dry, but actually it's really moist. I have to say the shopping experience on this ship is pretty identical to any cruise ship, to be honest. They do have some nice Alaska branded stuff though. It's nice when a cruise ship matches the merchandise to the location rather than just generic branded stuff. 
we've come into the ocean bar for a drink. We were just wandering aimlessly and decided that we'd come down here. It's quite a nice place to sit because we can see the scenery going past because it's still daylight. So we'll see the Alaska scenery going past while we're having a little drink. They got a dr different drinks menu in here as well. Got my penicillin. Jesus. <laughs> I thought I won't have a Negroni tonight because they're so strong. And this is um, really strong. I think I might try another one of those. Maybe not tonight, but later on in the cruise. Deck nine, Lido deck. Oh, what an incredible day that was. It was something I was really looking forward to and it certainly lived up to expectations. It was absolutely breathtaking. Uh, catch you can tomorrow. We've got something to go and see and then we're going to go and do a bit of shopping. So thanks for watching today and we'll see you in the morning.